do you want to save some time when starting new project or building some MVP or validating some idea starter kits in Laravel 12 are really helpful for that in this video we'll explore different starter kits um, supplied by default Laravel starter kits as well as community maintained starter kit so by the end of this video you'll have idea about which starter kit to use to save your time and build really awesome project so let's get started so first we have uh, these three starter kit uh, which comes by default when you install new Laravel application so let's in um, install each of them and see what they offer out of the box so I'll name project SK and then it will ask us for starter kit let's start with react um, so Laravel's built-in authentication there is another option called work OS which I think is a external service which manages authentication so I think uh, this is paid one but we can use uh, this Laravel built-in okay here we go we get these pages by default and create account settings password appearance all right so that's what we get um, with default starter kit let's quickly open this up on PSV storm and check the code so with this we get inertia JS so we get pretty basic stuff which is uh, really great uh, from here you can build any project you want so same with other stack as well if you choose um, view or Laravel uh, sorry Livewire while starting new application you'll get uh, same same this dashboard same looking everything all pages only the stacks are different what I want to explore in this video is the starter kits uh, maintained by community so if you see this page uh, Laravel new repository here we'll see all these uh, starter kits with their downloads and install uh, Livewire seems popular then react I'm amazed to see the view is lagging behind um, and here are community templates so Statomic is uh, like WordPress for Laravel but they have paid option as well there is uh, there are few limitation on uh, free version although if you want uh, the CMS you can explore their website and go with that it's quite popular lots of install with Statomic so second uh, is uh, Genesis let's try this so let's go and Laravel and then name of repository uh, let's see what it offers out of the box all right so when we install Genesis this is what we get out of the box a uh, nice looking home page with uh, about power ups let's sign up and create account and see what's inside the dashboard here we get uh, dashboard let's uh, take a look at the code structure of this project let's first take a look at uh, routes let's see what it uses um, we get Laravel folio these icons framework world so basically it is uh, Laravel world version of starter kit which is uh, kind of Laravel live wire let's explore wave by dev dojo uh, I think you'll like this it got uh, lots of things out of the box if you are prototyping uh, prototyping something then will be really useful so let's uh, install this laravel new wave using the name of repository there we go so it got really nice looking landing page so if you are launching something um, some business or some landing pages where you are selling something i think this is really cool landing page uh, in my opinion so it got blog as well so if I want to validate some idea really quick 
I think I will use this template for that let's sign up and see what we got view dashboard there we go so here is documentation for uh, how to install this properly and use it um, let's explore the code of this uh, let's open this up on PSP storm and let's open up first thing I would like to see is composer JSON what is included out of, out of the box we have um, PSP 8.1 although I want to bump this up I think minimum it's 8.1 maybe it will uh, it is working with latest PSP version as well so I think there shouldn't be any problem we get uh, we get filament admin panel and we have folio laravel uh, live wire and we have um, permissions out of the box try PSP implementation JWT auth although I would like to use sanctum instead and yeah, we can easily add uh, that uh, we can see that on documentation all right so a lot of thing that we require uh, comes by default so um, it is live wire based so if uh, you are good with live wire then this template I will recommend to build some prototype or test your idea and launch as uh, quick as possible so here you can see uh, features include let me zoom in a bit authentication user profile impersonation with these filament and billing we got subscription plans roles and permissions user notification all stuff we even got a blog for this so this will save a lot of time let's move on to next starter kit uh, for view developer which is larasonic let's try that out as well larasonic view but one thing about larsonic view that you might not like is their pricing it is really really expensive i think it is hard to afford this let's see pricing there we go this is zero dollar lot quite expensive right and free forever so you'll see what they are offering for free i really like uh, what they are doing to the laravel community by offering this for free uh, let's uh, let's install this and see all right so here is home page of larasonic which is really cool similar to wave uh, similar idea so it could be great landing page if you are launching something it got features pricing everything you need so uh, let's try to log in to dashboard so I have registered and logged in uh, really good uh, interface let's try yeah we got this admin filament admin panel for now this user management um, let's go to so we, we have uh, two kind of dashboard so this can be the dashboard for users and we have dashboard for admins although uh, this is also available for wave as well um, so while installing this we have to uh, do one thing on dot env for larsonic uh, larsonic we have to do mail driver to log it is smtv which is causing some error so just change it to log and try it out and also it asks for email verified field so you can just go to database and make that field with some values or just verify in email whatever works for you so um, uh, it got uh, quite a lot of feature let's uh, jump into code of this uh, repository first I would like to check uh, what's inside composerization what are the packages latest PHP version really great prism for AI integration really cool filament admin panel inertia payment 
cache here everything that we need sanctum great socialite all the social login options you have implemented by default sentry mailer Ziggy and for development purpose also it offers us Lara Sten and lots of things like telescope mockery for testing director for upgrading PHP version I think it's um, like um, I like most most uh, updated uh, starter kit I guess which uses all the latest plugins as well as all the features that is uh, future proof for now so although wave is little bit uh, they are using like JWT and things from past uh, that can be useful but um, this uh, package is used by wave mm, Lars Sonic are a lot better than wave in my opinion field stack it is really great starter kit so these two packages these two starter kit are worthy of submitting some pull request making them improve them and yeah i will definitely uh, do that so yeah how you like this video just let me know i hope you like these starter kit and will use for your next big project what do you think about it let me know in comments and i will see you on another video bye